you how to animate a sprite uh, in MIT App Inventor using a clock. I'm going to come to my blocks and we can see that program uh, here. But what I'm going to do is you can see I have a button in there and that button I had in tail the left. So if I don't want it to work on a, a clock, rather I want it to work on uh, using an input such as a button, I'm going to say when my screen initialized, I want to set my timer enabled to false. Now what that's going to do is, because the clock is not working, it's not going to animate. I'm going to take this same block, I'm going to duplicate it, but when my button 1 is clicked, I'm going to set my timer enabled to true. Now, what's going to happen now is, the only time that we're going to animate, and I have to reload this, so let's reconnect that emulator. So the only time Mario is going to go is when that button is clicked, because that's when the clock becomes activated, you can see there. Now, I could do something like one button clicked is down and, you know, have it true and one button is released, meaning up clicked or down clicked, because those are options underneath the buttons here. So when it's touched down, I could have it being true. And when it's touched up, I could have it being false. And what this would do, so touch down, and I'm going to go to my button here. And when I say it's touched up, I'm going to set it to false. So what programming it like this will do is when that button is released, we're going to set that clock back to being false. So it's not going to appear to be walking any longer. So this we're using, again, you can go on the touch down, it walks, on the touch up, the animation stops. Now, if I had a different button, like say button two to walk, this is my left button we can see in my design screen. If I had a button to walk to the right, well, I could run the same thing, but with Mario images uh, four, five, and six, with them reversed, and uh, when that button is then clicked, you would move Mario in the opposite direction. So again, just another way to control your animation using a button to navigate your Mario through the screen. Uh, the way we could also move Mario, we could come here and set Mario images, images X. And I'm just going to go back to uh, my one button design for this. So when Mario is clicked, I'm going to set Mario X to Get Mario X. So I'm going to get that image sprite X. And we want the X on this. And we could do duplicate. And I could go plus one. So now you're going to see I'm going to come back to my design screen and bring up my emulator. So not only do I call this true every time I press this button, oh, I should go minus one to move my Mario. We can also move Mario on that axis. So um, my to move him on the x-axis, it should actually be minus one here. So I hope this helps in learning how to control your animation.